The excitement of tourists in doing travel is shown through the number of airplane passengers. But unfortunately, some parties predicted the number of airplane passengers in the end of this year um, holiday season will decline. So, uh, to have a clearer view, we can see it through the first graphic. This is uh, about numbers of domestic airplane passengers that is, you know, or, or they are going abroad during a year end holiday season in 2017. The number of passengers that conducted a traveling in the, um, the end of the year um, holiday season reached 6.4 million people. In 2018, 5.7 million people, but in 2019, it is projected to reach only 5.2 million people. This one is taken from Director General of Air Transportation of Ministry of Transportation. Air travel during the end of the year holiday season is expected to decline as holiday makers OPT for land-based transportation as a result of new toll roads, more scheduled train services and higher airfares according to the Transportation Ministry. This year the number of journeys in uh, or is predicted to shrink by around 8%. That's because 70% of holiday makers travel on Java Island and the the transportation infrastructure is improving in some areas in Indonesia. There is a possibility that people have shifted their preferences from air to land-based transportation. And how about the number of passengers in some main airports in Indonesia? Let's check it to the next graphic. This is the numbers of Indonesia or domestic passengers in some airports in Indonesia. In Kuala Namu, uh, Medan in 2019. 2.2 million people in 2018, 3.2 million people. Soekarno Hatta, Banten in 2019, 15.6 million people. From actually, this is the total number of passengers from January to October 2019. And 2018, the number was higher in 18.9 uh, million people. And the uh, pretty much the same uh, situation also happened in another um, airport in Indonesia, as you can see from the graphic. This one is taken from Statistical Bureau Agency, year 2019's data. Indonesian airports are among the busiest airports in Asia. In fact, Soekarno Hatta International Airport has recorded the most takeoffs and landings in the region, reaching 72 occurrences per hour, or 1,200 to 1,700 occurrences per day. This is far above the regional average where takeoffs and landings in Kuala Lumpur, Changi, and Swarnabumi airports are only 971, 948, and 868 occurrences a day. The Indonesian government has thrived to improve the country's aviation infrastructure by enlarging and modernizing existing airports as well as building new ones, especially in remote areas to ensure equal development and to boost the local economy. The dynamics in the number of passengers in some transportation mode impacting another transportation mode. And let's see the next graphic. As I told you before, there is a trend of, you know, um, people that um, changing their uh, traveling preferences from air-based transportation to land-based transportation. As you can see, the um, comparison between airplane and uh, train um, uh, mode that are being used by the people when they're doing a travel uh, or having a holiday um, season. In March 2018, the number of passengers that, you know, using airplane uh, reached 7.73 million people. But in 2019, the number uh, was uh, decreased to only 6.03 uh, million people. But when it comes to train, the um, number is uh, pretty much the same trend-wise compared to the airplane one. But uh, interesting fact has happened in a ship. As you can see, the number in 2019 uh, is increasing. And train operator PT Krata Api Indonesia or KAI will operate 114 train trips daily to serve passengers during the Christmas and New Year holiday season. To meet the needs of passengers during the upcoming holiday season, PT KAI has also readied facilities and human resources to ensure smooth and safe journeys. The train operator will provide 70,002 
seats per day, uh, adding that the volume of passengers is predicted to increase to 103.6% compared to last year when the total number of passengers was at recorded 70 1,426 people. And when we talk about the main player in Indonesia's air transportation, Garuda Indonesia Group often leads the market occupancy. The next data will be about the load factor of CityLink compared to another airways inside the Garuda Group. As you can see, the purple one is indicates the load factor of CityLink. And the number, uh, all of the number from 2015 to 2018 data, uh, seems like Citilink outnumbered another uh, Garuda group, uh, Airways. And uh, in 2018, the percentage of load factor of Citilink reached 82.83%, but another Garuda group, Airways, only reached 75.26%. And CityLink Indonesia has claimed that it achieved over 80% in seat load factor in the first two months of the year. The airline's on-time performance, or OTP, from January to February 2019 was recorded 91.7%. Throughout 2018, CityLink flew 15 million passengers, a 22% hike from 12.3 million passengers in the previous year. The airline is targeting 18 million passengers this year, and in terms of domestic market share, CityLink controlled 14.29% in 2018, an improvement from 12.69% in 2017. And how about the trend of hotel occupancy in the first quarter this year? Let's check the next data. In October 2018, the occupancy level of hotels in Indonesia reached 58.84%. And in October 2019, the number was decreased to only 56.77%. This one is taken from the uh, Statistical Bureau Agency. Earlier this year, airlines have been on the receiving end of criticism as frustration mounts uh, among other stakeholders in the travel industry, particularly hotel and restaurant operators who blame high airfares for poor business performance during the low season. Indonesian Hotels and Restaurants Association said that the airline needed to consider the spending power of their customers in setting the airfare so that the business could expand. The chairman of PHRI, or we call it PHRI, said that the high price of airplane ticket price in the beginning of the year affecting the total hotel occupancy rate in 2019. The industry expects the same situation will not happen again in the future and if you are planning to have holiday in this christmas and new year season then you have a significant role in speeding up indonesia's economic growth this year stay tuned on market headlines because we'll be right back after the break